back, everyone, to the tasting room. The tasting room. <laughs> what are we trying today, Jill? Uh, today we are trying Breckenridge from Colorado. This is a port, Colorado. port cask finish. So we've Ooh. tried some of these. Uh, the Angel's Envy is a port finish. Uh, the Derringer is a sherry finish. Sherry finish, yeah. So we've tried a few of these various wine ones. The Nova that you tried mm -hmm. uh, and the Star Word from Australia are also red wine finished. So um, this is just sort of like the new niche component of whiskey and bourbon making. Oh, a way to make it a little sweeter without cheating yeah, the system. Yeah, a little, a way to sort of add your own says and your own recipe yeah. to uh, what otherwise would be sort of a straightforward. Honestly, I've enjoyed all the ones I've tried so far. They've been finished in the, the yeah. wine barrels and stuff like that. So um, I actually, I don't think, I mean, not that I've heard of a lot of these bourbons, but this is the first one where I'm like, I don't think I've ever heard of this one. Yeah, uh, this, Period. we actually picked this one up in Virginia. So uh, oh. that was, I think you can get it here, uh, Total Wine, ABC, those normal sorts of places. Uh, but that's where we first found the Port Cask Finish Breckenridge. Now they have, they do also have a sherry finish like the Derringer and they do also have regular varieties, um, but Port sounded well, cool. So with a Port finish like this, is this something that you would do in like a New York sour? Cause that one's finished off yeah, of the wine, right? Yeah, I think right? anything that's like in that cherry family, fruitier, this would probably work well in a Manhattan. Mm, um, okay. Anything that you're going to use those wine sorts of flavors, berries, cherries, uh, I would say would be a good fit for that. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. As always, I'll say, have you tried this? <laughs> <laughs> we know the answer. We know the answer. Um, yeah, actually, uh, when we were visiting uh, Steve's parents, his dad had the sherry finish. Oh, okay. Uh, and he, we tried that there. Um, so that was good. Uh, I think I like the port a little bit better than the sherry finish variety from Breck, though. I do get a lot of cherries on this. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot. It's like on the sides of my mouth, I get it. Like, yeah. I would say that my only complaint with the Breckenridge is that the finish is very short. Yeah. It was, it, You're like, wow, all these flavors up front. And then it sort of just disappears everywhere. Zebra stripe gum. <laughs> Fruit stripe. <laughs> Fruit stripe. <laughs> it's great and it's good and you're it's, like, ooh, and yeah. then it sort of just like stops delivering. Because it all comes at once. It's like, it's got a little bit of the burn and then right when the burn's the, done, like, you're like, the, oh, the cherry, burn, but cherry, then you're like, the gone. Wine, and then poof, yeah. it's gone. Yeah, it's like you want to put it in the sponge and hold it there. Yeah, so I, I do think that this one probably serves better in a cocktail uh, and we're going to try that to this, see how it works. I really like it. The, that's it's, So it's a shame it doesn't last as long. Yeah, exactly. You have it's to drink like, twice got as such much a really good like, flavor. And you want it to have that that finish to sort of like, ah, uh, like, uh, for example, like with the blade and bow and all that delicious banana bread flavor, you're still like breathing like 30 seconds later and going like, mm, I'm enjoying these smells and flavors. This one is very much like only happening while you're actively drinking it. Yeah. It, I think that it keeps making me do the right. sip. And then it's sip, like, where did sip. it go? Yeah. And you're like, this is a dangerous one. Yeah. It, like it's delicious, but I would like more of a finish out of it. I'm, I, do you remember how much this bottle was? About forty. This is really good, though. I, re, I I'm a I'm a big fan of this. I think. Yeah, I think it's just a shame that it doesn't last. Yeah, I like I like the linger. That's and the thing. fruit stripe gum's delicious too for four seconds. I remember fruit stripe gum was the first product in my entire life that I was like, I'm writing the manufacturer. Something's wrong with this. <laughs> a strongly worded letter. My babysitter helped me. From my Glen Karen. Yeah, I'll write it this one in crayon too. Get ready, Breckenridge. You're getting a crayon letter in the mail. I just um. Oh, and if you notice, like, okay, so we talked about like the it. legs. <laughs> legs is like when you see it on the side of the glass, like the viscosity, and you can see that it sort of like doesn't stick to the glass very well. And I think that that is what lends itself to being like a. Psh flash in the pan. Anyway, the Breckenridge port finish is delicious. We just wish there was a little bit more. I know this delicious. is crazy, but you get some Cherry Garcia, pour this over mm. the Cherry Garcia. Oh yeah, that this would, would be, be a great nice... for like an ice cream topping, yeah. for a milkshake. Yeah, yeah. Cherry Garcia milkshake. Yeah, I, it, it's, I, I think you're right. Like when you said this lends itself to a mixed drink, I think there's immediately we're like, oh, this, this, this. Yeah, because so you're gonna like... be drinking more sips of oh, that. Raspberry lime, Ricky. That is the Breckenridge Port Finish from Colorado. Recommended, good for mixed drinks, we think. We'll have to see what we we'll make with it on Friday. We'll have to see what we make with it. Yeah, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Remember, patreon.com slash 
the bourbon study. You'll find all that fun content on there. And please let us know in the comments what bourbon you're drinking. We gotta know. Jill needs a new list. Until we see you for the mixed drink. Cheers. Voices, the universe.